Okay, once you've downloaded your standard MIDI file from one of the websites, you're going to create a new GarageBand project. So this is what will come up. Choose Empty Project, Software Instrument, Create. Give you the default electric piano. Next, we need to find that MIDI file. So we're going to click Open under the File menu. And it'll go to your into your Downloads folder. <clears throat> you are going to look for a file that ends with .midi. If you can't find it, one thing you can do is right here, search MIDI, and you should see some options here. But again, it should be in your downloads folder. Click open. It'll take a moment to process, and here's the tracks. These are all <clears throat> just MIDI information. So every little one of these little blips represents a note, which is MIDI information, which tells it which pitch to play and where to play it and how loud. So if we play it, so pretty boring. Now here's where we get to have fun with it. <clears throat> so you're going to select a track and what I like to do is get rid of all this and so I like to solo a track. So you do that by clicking the headphones on the track. Now notice only that track will play. Nothing else is going to play. Then I like to create a cycle. So I'm going to have it just repeat this section over and over again. And I'm going to open the library over here. And you scroll back. You get to the entire menu. So every one of these represents a different type of instrument. And when you click on it, <clears throat> it gets you into more types of instruments. And notice, as soon as I click on that, it changed that instrument. So let's see what that sounds like. Uh, I'm going to back out to that. All right. So let's play. So while that's playing, I can just go in here and just start changing the instrument. Uh, I'll go in here to lead. So you're going to see as I click on this, and then I'm going to be using the down arrow on my keyboard. I'm just going to go and change sounds. Okay, so I'm going to just start at the top. I'm going to hit play, and I'm not going to talk while this, so you can just hear how this goes. <laughs> Well, you get the idea. So I'll leave, I'll leave that where that is. Now I'm going to solo the next instrument. And I can do the same thing with this and just start trying different instruments. Oops. So what just happened? I was changing this one back up here because I forgot to click on that next instrument. Now let's try this. Important thing to note, you gotta, it'll only change the instrument that you've selected, okay? So back to my synthesizers, my leads, and let's start here. So, you repeat that process all the way through until you have all the instruments that you like. So that's basically the first step. One thing you may need to do once you've got them all changed is you may need to mix a little bit using the faders on each channel. So as you change sounds, some might become more dominant and louder, and that may not necessarily be what you want. Remember to save frequently. So, and there we are.